Hi again, so well, let's continue our course. So we have seen basically this is do power timing from S5 to S0. Okay, within a laptop uh, motherboard. And for those who uh, ask me about other laptops, you know, guys, if you understand, just do working principle in one laptop. You can understand all laptops. If you take one schematic and analyze it, analyze it and understand it from one to zero, basically you can find in my channel a lot of videos about how to read schematics, power sequence, uh, states S5, S4, S3, S0, and all about schematics. So you can find all informations that you want or you need to go deeper into this field. So if you understand one schematic, it's enough. You can analyze and understand other schematics uh, regardless if the type of laptop is Dell, HP, Apple or any other laptop so let's continue this is basically the part two about power timing from s5 to s0 so for anyone of you who uh, didn't understand what i mean by s5 s3 basically this is power states s5 state s3 state s0 state uh, by understanding these states you can understand easily how to troubleshoot and figure out and fix any motherboard issue uh, you will find this video in my channel there is the video in my channel a very detailed video about states okay so let's continue uh, we basically we see uh, about 10 or 11 steps we are here i'm a thank her or in 13 maybe anyway let's pass quickly uh, we have the power src one so two after the power is src is generated from the charge ic we get plus if five volt always a voltage that will be applied to uh, the, the power switch control and then once you press the power button you see here we have basically 3.3 volt once you press the power button you will basically shunt the 3 volt to the ground and then the computer will turn on but before turning on the computer we have some voltages that are always present we call it basically always you see we have plus 5 volt always plus 3.3 volt always and plus 15 volt always plus 15 volts you can find it in some laptops and in other you can just find these two main voltages plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more pcb way makes it easy to get custom parts for your product Project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB way. Now back to the video. Okay, so uh, uh, we have basically the first step, we have the second step, third, we have fourth, the power switch will send the 3.3 volt always to charge IC, then we have we will get plus 3.3 volt and of course plus 5 volt without pressing the power button okay so number seven the power switch also will, will send a system power switch or uh, a signal that will told to the sio or to, to the ambient control that the 3 volt and 5 volt are good okay of course this is the first uh, the first step about 
informing the SIR, but we have also other steps here. So number eight, we have plus five always. Number nine, we have 15 uh, volt always. Number 10, we have this just on. So as I told you before, always this blue circles or signals means coming from the power control, the big power control, we have embedded control on the ACE, the super IO. We have numbers in here. This is an enable signal. Then we will get 11 and 12 plus 5 volt and plus 3.3 volt. Not always, but SAS or suspend. Okay. As I told you before, there is, you will find always suspend and you will find also re re means those voltages are present when the laptop is totally on is running totally means in s0 okay but here this is basically s5 here we have between s5 and s3 okay and over here running this is S5, uh, basically S0 where all voltages are present. So, uh, do you see, uh, by understanding the states, the power states from S5 to S0, you will analyze the failure. If, for example, you press the power button and then the computer uh, become uh, turn on about 3 second five seconds or just one second and then switch it off means you have problem you can't figure out means you have problem s5 is good but it could be the problem with the ram for example or uh, uh, voltage regulators next to the ram because you are in s3 states okay so we get these two voltages then we have 13 uh, so after those voltages are generated, 3.3 volt and 5 volt SAS, the EC will then generate some important signals, enable signals. We have RSM, RST signal, 13, and also the power AC, OK. And also we have here ME SAS power ACK. This is very important signals. Of course, it will generate this signal and it will receive this signal from the PCH, as you can see, from the PCH. It will send RSM reset and receive power ACK from, as you can see, the PCH. The PCH basically is the platform control hub i know guys that uh, slide you cannot understand for the first time for the first time especially for beginners you gonna find a little bit a little difficulties in understanding some terminology and some signals but uh, try just to follow with with me and just to, to stay tuned for more upcoming videos you gonna understand everything okay so after the 14 signal we have 15 here we have basically the ac present and the sio power button okay this is also two signals that will be sended to the pch a ac present means that the charger the adapter is present here okay of course the SIO will be known that the AC is present via the charge IC, okay, via the charge IC. And also SIO power button means when we press the power button, it will know that the, pro the power button is pressed. Why? Because the 3 volt here will be shunted with the ground. Okay, so then we have the, uh, basically we have 15 and 16 then we have 17 so 17 18 and 19 will be as you can see the states do you have s5 uh, basically state sleep s5 states s4 and s3 okay so we will pass from s5 
two a string okay once the power button is pressed we're gonna pass from s5 to s3 okay we have 19 so let's see 20. so as you can see as i told you before when we speak about s3 here you should always remember the ram we have 19 we have no s3 state so do you see 20 20 we have 1.5 and DDRVTT, the half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 volts. So we are now in S3 state. Means to when you find a voltage and SAS like this suspend, we are in S5. Well, S3 basically, okay? S3. But always means S5. And RE means S0. So basically, this kind of this RAM is or is DDR3 why because we have here uh, the range or the voltage is 1.5 volt and we know that 1.5 volt is for is for basically uh, DDR3 and we have the VTT the DDR VTT for terminals I have many videos about RAM voltage we have 0.75 volt this is basically for S5 or for DDR3 RAM. So 20, we have 1.5 volt. 21, we have 1.5 volt for CPU. We have E3 state. So please, if you want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page, all links in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video because guys your likes really motivate me to create more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video